Hi, this is Andrew from SciChart, and uh, I'm making a video today to show you how to get started uh, with the SciChart Xamarin Beta. So SciChart iOS Android version 2 beta was released yesterday, um, and you can find this on our news page, uh, SciChart iOS Android Xamarin Beta released. And version 2, um, it really is a huge step forward in our mobile charts. Um, we've got many, many more chart types for iOS and Android, um, performance improvements for Swift users, Swift 3 support for iOS developers, um, loads more examples. I think we've got about 60 examples for each platform, iOS and Android, and 20 for Xamarin. Um, so this version now includes Xamarin support. So have a look at this article to see what is new. And um, now I'm going to show you a little bit about how to get started with the Xamarin beta. So the beta is hosted on GitHub and there are three links here. Um, if you haven't used GitHub before, this is a, uh, basically it's a Git repository in the cloud. Um, and you can access the code by either cloning it as a Git repository, checking out with SVN, or just download a zip and you'll get all the source code as a zip. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to check it out as an SVN repository. So I will create myself a folder called uh, scichart.xamarin.examples. And I'm using Tortoise SVN uh, to do an SVN checkout. Um, but you can use Git Bash, you can use Tortoise Git, or as I said, just download it as a zip um, directly from the GitHub page. So once you've got the code, if you go into SciChart Xamarin examples, in the source folder, there is a xamarin.examples.deploy solution. This is the one that you want to open. And I'm going to open this using Visual Studio 2015. I've already set up my Visual Studio uh, as a Xamarin development environment, which means I have downloaded and installed Xamarin uh, for Visual Studio. I've also created a Mac development server for iOS, which includes Visual Studio for Mac, um, which packages Xamarin with it, and Xcode 8 as well. So the SciChart Xamarin examples are complete. You can pretty much just build them and go, um, but there's one thing that you need to do in order to access the binaries um, for SciChart Xamarin. So you'll see all of these binaries have got exclamation marks on, and they all get pulled from NuGet. Um, now, SciChart Android and SciChart iOS are pulled from a private NuGet feed. And there's a little bit more information about that on the web. So if you search for SciChart NuGet, you will find our web page which shows you or talks about um, our NuGet feeds. So we have a NuGet feed hosted by MyGet. And we've got in here, um, these are the Maven repositories for SciChart Android. Then we have uh, um, SciChart WPF, SciChart Android, which is a Xamarin DLL, and SciChart iOS, which is a Xamarin DLL as well. So this page shows you how to set it up, but essentially what you need to do is add a feed URL, um, this URL to your Visual Studio. And you do this by going to Tools, Options, and you scroll down to NuGet Package Manager, and Package Sources, you'll need to add a package source. I've called it SciChart 2015, and I've put the URL in here uh, from our web page. So once you've done that, you should be able to do a clean and a rebuild, and it should compile uh, the SciChart Xamarin examples. Okay, so I paused that while it was building because it takes a few minutes uh, and we've got rebuild all uh, succeeded. So we have now two projects, xamarinexamples.demo.droid for Android and the same project for iOS. And we have a shared project here with some uh, shared uh, um, data and classes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the iOS project as a startup project. In order to compile this, um, and it would have shown you a warning if you hadn't done it already, you need to be connected to a Xamarin Mac agent. So this is a hard limit with Xamarin that you need to connect to a real Mac which has Visual Studio for Mac uh, with Xamarin and Xcode 8 installed on it. Um, I've previously set that up so I can compile 
And now I can basically run this on an iPad Air emulator. So simulator is just starting up and connecting to the Mac. And here we go, our Xamarin iOS demo is starting up. So here we have the demo and uh, you can drag this up and down to see more examples. Each one of these is a example in Xamarin iOS. So if we click on the band chart and you can uh, pan this. Now it's a little bit slow, but remember that this is a simulator, not a real device. So it's a lot slower than a, a physical device. And there's also some artifacts I can see here. Again, these are simulator only. Um, on a real device, this is super performant, smooth, uh, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So Xamarin iOS supports uh, candlestick charts, uh, band charts, uh, we have bubble charts. Um, we also have um, a couple of real-time demos, such as this ECG monitor demo. Again, um, it's a little bit slow here on the simulator, but um, trust me, try this on a real device. It is super fast and smooth. Um, we support uh, a lot of different annotation types, which you can place over the chart. Um, obviously the standard things like line charts, mountain charts. Um, we've got this demo for multi-pane stock charts. So you can make a, you know, a really feature rich uh, stock charting application uh, with uh, SciChart iOS and Android um, or with Xamarin. We have this demo which is a, a sort of a real-time updating stock chart demo, um, scatter charts, all different kinds of charts that you can imagine really and uh, we are creating more all the time. Um, here we go, we've got some stack columns as well um, and we support tooltips. So as you mouse down on this chart, you should see a tooltip appear. So I'd really encourage you to download this and try it on a device and let us know what you think. We've tested it on iPhone 5, 6, um, iPad Air, iPad Air 2, um, and it's really, really smooth and fast. So that was iOS, but what about Android? If I go over here and now set my startup project to xamarin.examples.demo.droid, up here I can select a uh, emulator or a device if you have a physical device connected. You can manage your emulators by going to Tools Android Emulator Manager and you can download emulators with the SDK Manager. I've already set one up with Nexus 9 uh, running Android 6. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. And here's the Xamarin Android uh, demo running in the emulator. So the emulators for Android are fully hardware accelerated uh, and they're pretty awesome actually. So you can see these almost in full speed. Um, you can see that Xamarin Android supports annotations like iOS. Uh, we have our band chart uh, which we can zoom and pan. It's a little bit smoother on the Android uh, emulator. Bubble charts, Candlestick charts. Uh, we have a really nice demo here um, which shows multiple uh, different stacked chart types uh, side by side. Uh, we have a real time ECG monitor. Um, we've got a real time scrolling FIFO chart, so first in, first out. Uh, we have got a heat map chart which uh, oop, doesn't seem to be working right now where well, we are in beta so I'll forward that to the team. Um, what else have we got? Real time stock chart. So this one shows you how you can create a stock chart app that updates in real time uh, on Android or iOS uh, using our Xamarin charts. Um, in addition to that the standard things that you would expect like uh, tooltips, uh, we have themes, all sorts of features really. Um, so there you have it. SciChart for iOS Android version 2 now released in beta. We've got Xamarin support. Um, if you want to scroll down here on this page you'll see not only the links to the GitHub but there's also some links to tutorials. Um, the iOS tutorials are just being completed as we speak but the, the Android ones are ready already. So if you want to have a go have a look at these tutorials. Um, and we've got a number of them here, allowing you to uh, create side chart surface, add series, 
zoom and pan, tooltips, uh, add real-time updates, annotations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so there's a lot you can do uh, with the SciChart Android and iOS uh, and Xamarin Beta out of the box. Let us know your feedback. If you have any, uh, you can contact us over at SciChart.com. There's a contact page. Um, tell us what you think. If there's anything you need uh, or anything you'd like us to add, please let us know.